Well, good morning. I'm talking to you about the very first miracle that Jesus did. I want you to know that what Jesus did in the beginning is what started his entire ministry, and it was about opulence. I said this on Monday, but I want to say it again. It's not about somebody coming to know God. It's not about somebody coming to get healed. It's about him providing their physical needs. Because where Jesus was, was the power of God to meet their needs. Now, I'm, I'm cooking breakfast this morning, so just have to bear with me. So I want you to watch this. There are seven redemptive names of God. You know, El Shaddai, El Shalom, El Sidkenu, El Shema. The very first two redemptive names of God that God revealed himself to us with is, now watch this, El Shaddai, the one that is more than enough, the all-sufficient one. And then it was Jehovah Rapha, that is, I am the Lord that will provide. So the first two names was about your provision. Then he said, I am Jehovah Rapha, I am the Lord that healeth you. So your provision was the first thing on God's mind. And I want you to get this. That's the first thing that Jesus did when he began his miraculous ministry. Excuse me just a minute. When he started his ministry, it had to do with needs. It had to do with something that they didn't even have to have. I like to use the term opulence. I mean, it was just the wine that they needed. Now, I told you this the other day, but I'm going to tell you again. Jesus didn't get up that morning and say, Lord, what am I supposed to do today? Are we going to do miracles? No, when he got there, the power of a miracle of provision was there. Here's the good news. Jesus is here. Wherever you are, Jesus is there. So the power of provision is right there with you right now. It may not even be something that you have to have. It can be just sheer opulence. You know, you're going on a trip. You're going to go hear the word. Like a friend of mine in Oklahoma told me the other day that what they were going to do was they were going to go take you know, the rest of the week to go to Branson, Missouri to get into the word. Well, you got to have gas. You know, your car's got to have gas. Well, God will provide that gas just like he provided the car. Maybe you spent everything that you had while you were there. You still needed gas to come home. Well, El Shaddai is still there. Jehovah Jireh is still there. The, the point is, God is just as interested. In fact, I believe I can prove more interested in your stuff that he is on your spiritual condition because he started his ministry out providing stuff for people that didn't know God. They didn't have any idea who God was, but he showed up to show I am the great provider. Let God <clears throat> provide your needs today. Let God bless you in everything that you do. And until I'm with you tomorrow, you remember Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.